Hi students, as a part of engineering chemistry, I am going to discuss about uh, the second part of unit 3, which is corrosion. So first of all, we have to discuss what exactly is the corrosion. Corrosion is the gradual destruction or deterioration of a metal due to unwanted chemical or electrochemical interaction with its environment. It is a gradual destruction. Destruction means what term? Damage of the metal. Or, or, deterioration. Deterioration means losing the quality of the metal. Due to unwanted chemical or electrochemical interaction with its environment. Now, based upon this particular definition, which is associated with the corrosion, it is amply clear that this particular corrosion phenomena will decay the metal. Will decay means damage the metal. Now, when particular phenomena is damaging something, definitely that particular substance will not prefer to undergo that particular phenomenon. Now, when the corrosion is damaging the metal, why the metal is undergoing the corrosion? Though it is the destructive or deteriorative method which is damaging the metal. So, now we are going to discuss that only. What is the cause of the corrosion? What is the reason why the metals do undergo the corrosion? So before that, I would like to discuss some of the disadvantages associated with the corrosion. Already I have explained that um, the corrosion is the gradual destruction or deterioration of it. Now whenever this particular phenomena is destructing or deteriorating the metal, so what will happen to the metal? The strength of the metal will reduce. When the strength of the substance is reduced, so definitely that particular substance cannot be fabricated. Now, because of this corrosion, what is happening? The strength of the metal is getting reduced. Since the strength of the metal is getting reduced, definitely it cannot be fabricated into any desired shape by which the metal loses its basic properties such as conductivity, malleability, inductivity. What is malleability? It is a property of a metal by virtue of which the metal can be molded in the form of a sheet. And what is the ductility? It is a property of a metal by virtue of which it can be molded in the form of a wire. Now, as the strength of the metal is reducing or decreasing because of the corrosion, the malleability and ductility of the metal cannot be done. That is, fabrication of the metal cannot be done on the metal. Not only that, whenever the metal is undergoing the corrosion, so absolute damage takes place absolute damage takes place. You believe or not, around one-fourth of the iron metal is getting damaged per annum across the world. Across the world. One-fourth. Just imagine how this particular corrosion is damaging the metal. Now, based upon all the stuff which I have explained to you, it is amply clear that this particular corrosion is very dangerous phenomena which is totally damaging the metal. Even though it is a dangerous phenomena, why the metal is chemically reacting or electrochemically reacting with the environment and undergoing this particular phenomena which is damaging the metal. That is, we have to discuss what is the reason for the corrosion. So do remember that the metal occurs in the nature either in the form of oxides, sulfides, carbonates and sulfates. 
The metal occur in the nature either in the form of oxides, sulfates, carbonates and sulfates. And this combined form of the metal along with the oxide, sulfide, carbonate and sulfate is nothing but ore. And this particular combined form is nothing but the ore. But do remember that the metal in the individual form is more significant when compared to the metal in the combined form for the human beings, for our practical purposes. So since for our practical purposes, the metal in the individual form is more significant when compared to the metal in the combined form, which is the ore, what we will do? We will extract the metal, which is along with either the oxide, sulfide, carbonate or sulfate, which is in the ore form. So what exactly we will do? What is the process of extracting the metal from the ore? The process by which we can extract the metal from the ore is nothing but metallurgical process. So let us take uh, the iron metal. Iron metal basically won't occur in the nature in the individual form such as iron. It will be either in the form of oxide as ferrous oxide or it will be in the form of uh, sulfide that is in the form of ferrous sulfide. But can you imagine the iron metal? Can you imagine any of the construction without the iron metal students? We cannot imagine any of the construction without the iron metal. But we want the iron metal in the individual form, not in the combined form. But it is occurring in the nature either in the oxide form or the sulfide form. So now what we need to do, we have to extract the iron which is either along with the oxygen as iron oxide or along with the sulfide as iron sulfide. So let us say that the iron is occurring in the nature in the form of iron oxide. Iron oxide. Now we need uh, the iron in the individual form. Since we need the iron in the individual form, what we will do is we will do the extraction of the iron, which is along with the oxygen in iron oxide. This extraction of the iron, which is along with the oxygen in the iron oxide, can be done by metallurgical operation metallurgical operation whenever the metal op metallurgical operation is being done on this particular iron oxide we will extract the metal in the individual form so we got uh, the iron metal which is uh, the individual form of the iron individual form of the iron so what is iron oxide? Iron oxide is nothing but, uh, iron oxide is nothing but, it is a natural form of the iron. It is a natural form of the iron. But what we have done, as we need the iron in the individual form, because it is more significant uh, in the individual form when compared to the iron oxide, which is the combined form. We are extracting it from the oxygen individual. Now, what happened here, students? The iron lost its individuality. The iron lost its virginality. Iron lost its virginality. What is the virginality of the iron here? The virginality of the iron in this case is it is along with the oxygen in the form of iron oxide. So it lost its virginality. When we are extracting the iron which is along with oxygen, what is happening students? It is losing its virginality. But none of the substance in the nature, none of the substance in the environment wants to lose its virginality. So, in order to retain the virginality, in order to retain the virginality, what the iron will do is, it will interact with the environment, either chemically or electrochemically. It will interact with the environment, means what? It will interact with the which substance? 
it will interact with which substance its virginality is along with the oxygen since its virginality is along with the oxygen it will it will interact with the oxygen which is present in the environment either chemically or electrochemically because its virginality is uh, along with the oxygen in the form of iron oxide so what will it will do it will try to interact with oxygen which is a part of environment either chemically or electrochemically chemically or electrochemically but here the poor iron doesn't know that i'm not only interacting with the oxygen as the environment comprises of so many impurities which are a part of oxygen i'm not going to interact with impurities right so iron is trying to interact with the pure oxygen which is a part of environment but pure oxygen won't exist in the environment because environment comprises so many impurities along with the pure gases now what is the pure gas here oxygen is the pure gas but oxygen in the environment will not be in the purest form it will be in the combined form along with some of the impurities now the iron in order to retain its virginity it wants to it tries to interact with the pure oxygen purest form of the oxygen but as the purest form of the oxygen is not possible in the environment as it is associated with so many impurities it will interact with the impure form of oxygen it will interact with the impure form of oxygen whenever it is interacting with the impure form of oxygen instead of converting into iron oxide feo it will convert into impure iron oxide which is nothing but fe2 o3 xh2 now dear students now the iron iron retained its virginity it was along with oxygen initially now after interacting with the oxygen now it is along with the oxygen but uh, it is along with the impure oxygen which is also associated with the water molecules this fe2o3 is nothing but uh, rust this is the chemical composition of the rust right so now what is happening as it is interacting with the impure form of the oxygen it is retaining its virginity that is its virginity was it was along with the oxygen after interacting with the oxygen it is getting its oxide form it is getting its oxide form but along with the oxide form so many impurities and the water molecules are associated with it now this iron oxide which is being formed whenever the iron metal is interacting with the environment either chemically or electrochemically as it is impure this particular this particular oxide form of iron is weak when compared to the pure iron which is which was along with the oxygen so this is the reason why the metals do undergo corrosion even though this is the dangerous process or disadvantageous process for the metals so do remember students so so many reasons are there for the metal to undergo the corrosion but in order to simplify the things i have explained why the metals do undergo the corrosion even though it is the dangerous or disadvantageous process the simple thing is in order to retain its virginity but during its retaining its virginity it is not only interacting with the desirable oxygen desirable substance it is also interacting with the impurities which are a part of a environment either chemically or electrochemically by which it is getting distracted that is it is getting damaged or deteriorated that is the quality of the metal is being lost 
So in this particular video, I have clearly explained what is the corrosion, what are the disadvantages of the corrosion, and why the metal undergo corrosion even though the corrosion phenomena is the disadvantages or the dangerous process for the metals. I hope you understood this particular concept of corrosion. In the next class, I will explain about theories of corrosion, which is very, very important from examination purpose. Thank you for watching this video.